Five, five inches, American inches. 55 American inches. What you got going on up here? Well, <laughs> I like to work. Don't notice that I have Crocs on. <laughs> no, no. Uh, what I got going on here is I'm working on the roof and I brought a piece of carpet to stand on. Yeah. For a couple of reasons. You want to know why? I guess. Let's do I mean, it. one Let's reason, there's at least three good reasons. One reason is it keeps you from scuffing up the shingles. Yeah, that okay. is a problem. I'm working here, I'm twisting my feet around, guess what, not gonna hurt a thing. The second reason is when I'm kneeling down, like this, it's pretty comfortable. Okay. Uh, my knees aren't against the gravel You're on the shingles. You're not graveling your knees. <laughs> I don't like the way that feels, especially when it's hot. I've had to pick gravel out of my knees. It actually gives you a little bit better traction. Hey, you said there was three reasons. I know, I know. Right. I was I was like, oh dang, there's only two, but I'll make up a third one. Uh, <laughs> it actually gives you a little bit better traction. I think the gravel texture on the shingles like can like kind of rolly. Feel like you're sliding all the time and you feel like you're damaging it the whole time. So I got I'm just comfortable up so here. So this is a pro tip. Throw your rug on the roof and go to town. And I got one even better than that here in a minute for <laughs> okay. you. Okay. Oh really? It's in the same realm, all right? Okay. I'm gonna save it though for a minute. Uh, did Arlo's Suburban turn into a van the same color? You know, it's so similar. Something's different. We, I just can't put my finger <laughs> I gotta get a look at that thing. I'm not real sure. This evidently has the exact same dashboard as the Suburban. It's a 2003 model with 100,000 miles on it, and he bought it for $2,500 with new tires. That's not a bad deal. Yeah. No. I'm no. telling my wife this is her next vehicle. That is inefficient. It took like 30 minutes for us to get everything from on that side of the house to up there that oh. we need for one freaking window. Yep. Oh, uh, we need the window still. Oh, we don't have the window. <laughs> no, it's on the other side of the house. Oh, exactly. For a hundred bucks, I would do that all day again. Absolutely, I gotta chime in here. I think normally like real construction workers may be uh, turned off by a tool like we? this. What are we? We're not real construction uh, workers. Well, just, I'm just gonna say, cause it looks like a homeowner kind of saw. And I think it is. And maybe it is. I think if you use this all day every day for like a month, it would probably be dead. But it's proven to be worth its weight yeah. here on the job. And we mm -hmm. don't know what other jobs it may be ideal for. Yeah, it's gonna stay in our slew of tools to have to do weird things. Yeah, we'll keep you posted on that. Mm -hmm. Here's my other little surprise. This is, I call it a roof wedge. I actually built this for myself to use for painting my own house. I have a 612 pitch roof and I have about 10 feet of siding above it. So how do you set a ladder on the roof. Well, this is what I came up with. It's got carpet on the bottom and this nice foam pad on the top to get the feet of the ladder to stick to it really nice. I've been all over my roof using ladders with this thing. It's been fantastic. Of course, uh, use your own discretion when you decide to get on your roof and do something crazy. This episode is sponsored by Omaze, and we're excited to be working with Omaze to give you the chance to win a $130,000 custom tiny home by Trueform Tiny and support a great cause, the National Park Foundation. Just go to omaze.com slash Perkins for your chance to win. Omaze launched with a mission to transform typical charitable giving, and they give people the chance to dream big and win one in a lifetime prizes 
all while helping nonprofits make the world a better place. To date, Omaze has raised over $150 million for charity with a goal to raise over $1 billion in a single year. The winner will get to design their very own custom tiny home valued at $130,000 and Trueform Tiny will help you design your dream tiny home and turn it into a live-in ready reality. You could put it in your backyard and use it as the ADU or buy a piece of property down by a lake and have an instant lake vacation home. And as I mentioned earlier, Entrance can support the National Park Foundation, which works to protect wildlife and parklands, preserve history and culture, educate and engage youth, and connect people everywhere to the wonder of parks, which I think is awesome. I actually spent my entire family vacation just now in a national park, so this is something I'm really behind. So to support the National Park Foundation and a chance to win the tiny home, custom tiny home, head to omaze.com slash Perkins and enter now. Thanks again to Omaze for sponsoring this episode. Let's get back to work. I was just turning this air conditioning up actually because we have all the windows open. And uh, what do you see here that's going to be a problem? Boom. That's about two inches. And our trim... It hangs off a bit, but it's three. So we're gonna have to see if we can pull that and slide it over. Or we can just notch the trim around it. What do you think? We can just notch this around the trim. <laughs> yeah. I'll just say we trim turkey, <laughs> turkey saw right through the middle of that thing. One by 12 trim and yeah. on the trim. We could do that. Anyway, you know, that's just one of them things that um, usually we have the doors hung when they do that. Then they do that trim out, but we didn't this time. We're doing everything in reverse order on this house. Hey, is it going to be the same for that? Uh, no, I think that'll, that'll pass. That's good. Hey, that's the famous uh, oh, no, the box where Myron, where Myron uh, did some crazy trick and 12 million people watched it on YouTube Shorts. I know, and you could hear oh, yeah, 13 million. In. We're out of here and the windows are in. And you can see, you can see right through the house. You can see mountains through the house. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. I love it. Cardinal coffee. Man, I forgot to wear my camo shorts and boots today, guys. <laughs> wow. Oh, Jamie's got you on the socks by a little bit. What's that special socks there? How come we don't have a tracker? I had a bobcat, dude. Oh, here we go. You know how much money this is costing us? Zero. I Zero. Know. I know. And he's having a great time. He is having a good time. I would hate to deprive him of it. Yeah. Really. He's doing awesome. I know people in the videos get tired of hearing me talk about money and, you know, running a company and not spending too much, but it's because he doesn't think about it. He would just buy it. He would just buy everything possible that could make things easier but would cost way more money. Listen. See, uh, see, you're like, it's like husband, wife. Like, yeah. Husband, worry about money, wife, just go and Dude, spend it all. I could run this company all by myself, straight into the ground. Into the ground. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, you know there's a gas line right here somewhere. Yeah, we should probably not really go any it's deeper that deep. than that. They only put them like 10 inches, I think. I think we're looking pretty good. I mean, big picture, it's done. Everything there's filled in, the high spot's gone. We've got that spot where Jono's truck is. You can fill that in, it'll get him to move. And then there's a little hump right here. I think you can back blade right here and just drag it into that low spot and we'll be done. Gotcha. Oh, did you catch all that? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, he's got it all right. He knows what's going on. Thanks, Jesse. You're the man. Looks good and flat. Couldn't have done it without watching well. the Perkins videos. Oh, well. Oh, that's <laughs> quite the compliment. Jason, wow. I ain't him to say <laughs> this, dude. Come on. Thanks, Jesse. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, you guys have a good day. Jason and I got chosen to be the roof guys this morning instead of the ground guys. So we're installing this window trim. I just want to point out that Jason has been using the Johnny square, the mini baby's first speed square that I got him. 
and you like it, right? Yeah, I do. Let me show you what he's doing. We're using it as a positive spacing tool to space the trim away from the window so there's room for the clear sealant. Uh, we don't want to butt it tight because then we're going to put the sealant. Butt tight. Nowhere. Can't say that. <laughs> What's going on with your hat? Uh, I, I got a new. I know, but why is it so big? The hat's where it's at. Remember? It's supposed to be done like this. Well, I know, but then you can't see my face when we're videoing. Perfect. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, up here we got to slow down a little bit because our bottom uh, window oh, yeah. trim is going to get in way of our roof. Uh, our, yeah, flashing. our roof counter flashing is going to get into the window trim. And luckily I jumped up here and stopped Jason from, you know, installing all of these window trims. <laughs> you were going for, I mean, he was doing his job. He was yeah. going crazy. The other thing cool about this thing is it's got a little spot where you can put notes in. <laughs> Okay. Oh crap! Oh, I how do I see that one coming? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we need to flash tape the top of this, and we don't want to flash tape it too low though, like all the way to this joint here, because then you'll see it. Because we have to leave a gap between the top of that and siding. So I'm getting eagle eye with it, is what we call this, where you get your eyes down to the level of your work, and I'm just covering the nails. And I was trying to do this without getting eagle eye on it, and it was getting all crooked and crazy. So hopefully this will work better. It's like construction yoga right here. All right, now flip it up. JMO, you you coming? I'll be off the phone in a minute. As you may have guessed, we're having to paint each nail head with this little uh, dauber thing we have that just paints the nail head each time, which is not too hard, but Jason had the idea, what if we painted all the nail heads on the roll and then shot them? I mean. So we're gonna try it. Yeah. I'm gonna paint them, we're gonna let them sit in the sun and then uh, see what happens. Oh, this is faster already. All right, we'll let that dry and check back. It's been about 20 minutes. We're loading up the pre-painted rack right there. What do you think? I think it sucks. <laughs> I think we're ever going to give that one. <laughs> crap. Nothing new under the sun. Well, it was worth a shot, literally and figuratively. Yeah, it actually, it says it right here. Instantly waterproof, sticks to almost everything. Cured, mildew resistant, paintable. Almost everything. I wonder what the not everything is. I don't know, usually it's almost anything though. Almost everything. We're having a little rain delay here and I came outside and I got two guys washing their trucks in the rain. With so I had soap in my truck. I mean, <laughs> they're finding all kinds of dents in their trucks too. What you doing there, bud? Well, I got to take these giant wire nuts off and I just want to make sure I don't get electrocuted because this is for a hot tub disconnect. So I think it's 220. Is that right? That's some big nuts right there. Two <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can say that. Oops. So this is 220 volt. Uh, there'll be a box mounted here. Uh, which is called a disconnect and if you're not familiar that's so that a service person could disconnect the power with like a giant fuse they could pull that right here in sight of the hot tub that they're working on so that if they're working on it someone doesn't go inside to the panel and be like oh this fuse is off or the the switch is off to the hot tub and turn it back on while that's you're right. working on it so the guy could physically remove the part yeah and he can put it in his pocket yeah, yeah so yeah. that he knows nobody is gonna be flipping the power back on while he's working on this thing. Yeah. He can, you know, just get down and work. And when he's done, 
put the thing back in and everybody's safe. So Love that box will be mounted there and they're going to put a hot tub here, I guess, at some point. And um, it's going to be a they're pan this way. It's going to be um, sweet. I mean, it's a pretty nice view. If you don't like this, then good luck finding one you like. Yeah. You hear that? Sounds like a big truck to me. Of gravel. I hope it is, but you know what? We are all parked it, in the place he needs to dump the gravel. And it's like 4.59. <laughs> I bet you they, they told him to probably wait till 5 so we would be gone, but we're still here. Is he going to spread it? I, th I mean, he's going to... I don't know. Because we don't have a machine. I don't know. I don't know. I do know we're in the way, though. Somebody got really lucky right there. Hey, thanks for checking out our video today. We really appreciate you watching, especially if you're still watching right now all the way at the end. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please remember to get subscribed to our channel, Perkins Builder Brothers, give us a thumbs up, that does help us, and we'll be wrapping up this house really soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for building with us. We'll see you on the next one. Jamie tells me we've had a lot of comments about these big brimmed hats, and I want to tell you, the hat is where it's at. Uh, really? we, we come from the McKinsey clan, okay? This is a very <laughs> fair-skinned uh, area of the world. And, you know, the sun and my face don't get along if I'm in it for like eight hours. I so, mean, when you say big, let's put a number to it's it. It's an 18 inch. That's an 18 by, I think it's a little longer here this way. Oh, it's a, it's, it's an a 18. 19. It's 19. So, yeah, I, I'm all about uh, function, as you can tell. The only function this is not good at is carrying sheet goods on your side. Uh, like this and it smashes your hat like yeah. that so and, and 16 on center framing that's four, yeah that's <laughs> 14 and a half wall. clear so if you can find one that's maybe 14 and a half that'd be ideal